Hey, Treklanders, especially you guys and gals in SoCal, or if you're traveling through here in the next month or two, if you're in the sound of my voice or within the reach of my blog, uh, Armin Shimmerman, our very own Quark, and his lovely wife, Kitty Swink. In fact, Kitty is the headliner title character in Juno and the Paycock, it's a classic Irish play by Sean O'Casey. Uh, well, I'll let them talk about it, and also let them talk about what they're doing this summer on the old convention circuit. Here they are. Armin! Hi. Kitty! Hi! Hi! Hi. Hi. So, <laughs> thanks for having us in to talk about uh, what's going on, especially with Juno and well, the Paycock. Uh, yeah. it's, a, it's a play we're doing over at the Odyssey Theater, it's Juno and the Paycock. Kitty plays Juno. I don't play the Paycock. Not the Paycock. <laughs> I'm oh. the vice character. He's the, bad, he's, he's the Paycock's best friend who's always getting him in trouble. Oh, and okay. uh, it's a wonderful, it's, it's, a, it's classic Irish theater mm -hmm. written by Sean O'Casey and uh, it, it's their national piece and we're very proud to be doing it here and our accents are pretty good. Pretty good. O'Casey's oh, okay. considered the Shakespeare of Ireland, although it's modern, it was written in, it's not in verse or anything, it was right. written in 1925. And we just nice. happen to have a poster. Oh, from, very good. Uh, see, there's a picture of me. Armin. And oh. Michelle, who plays the Paycock. Who's the Paycock. Okay. It looks very domestic. It it's is domestic. It, but it's a lot like the Honeymooners. It's a, it's, it's okay. a tragedy. The Honeymooners in a war zone. Exactly. It's the Honeymooners in a war zone. <laughs> so you, you laugh, and then you're mm -hmm. horrified, and then you laugh some more, and then you go, oh, oh my God. And we would love okay. for you to come. Please come. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Now, why? How, why? Did the, the theater, I mean, how did the play started, get selected? How did you get involved? It started as a reading at the theater that Armin and I are both members of, Antius Theater Company, uh, where I did, um, well, we both worked a lot. Mm -hmm. And uh, we're both on the board of directors. And then it went into our Classics Fest last year as a reading. And mm -hmm. we had an audience, and it was very exciting. But it didn't seem to fit into the season at Antius this year. So, oh, you take it. So our director, who's also a member, a man named Alan Miller, decided... He was a Klingon in the original. Yes. So. I don't know if he was a Klingon or not. Was he something else? Yeah. We'll check it. Uh, okay. And uh, he uh, asked us uh, if we would like to take the show to the Odyssey Theater, where he had done, I think, about 30 plays. And so we said yes. And so basically, a, a large part of our ensemble uh, uprooted itself from North Hollywood and moved mm -hmm. to West L.A. And uh, there we are. Uh, and the audiences so far that we've had for the last uh, two and a half weeks have loved the show. And we're we're hoping that we get more people to come. We'd love to see you. And we'll uh, oh, we're we're heading, we're heading. Yeah. Yes. And uh, but it's uh, it's a great piece of theater, and it's about there's lots of laughs, but it's also very tragic. Very Anytime. Good. I think this play, like a lot of plays, it, it, culturally it could be moved into Bosnia-Herzegovina or into uh, what's happening in Syria right now or into any place where people are living under extraordinary duress. Mm -hmm. But there are qualities of the honeymooners as well. It is. It's a, it's a domestic <laughs> comedy at the same time. It's a, yeah, there was a very nice, uh, I'm going to do the link to it, but the uh, the theater did a very nice uh, yes, they did a great uh, pastiche or yeah. mosaic there, a, a, a mashup. Yeah. And you may recognize... Um, One of our actresses is from uh, Next Generation. Rhonda Aldridge, who played what, Larry? Uh, Madeline? Madeline. Oh, Dixon Hill's Dixon secretary. Hill's secretary. That's right. That's right. That's That's right. right. Those, those Trek connections just keep coming. But Well, the, classical the, actors are often on Trek because of the handle the language. Right. Yes. I was going to say, it's uh, it's hard to get away from it. And right. you're, uh, we'll have to research your director, too. <laughs> he was in the original, and I don't... He's. I have a card somewhere that he gave me of, of himself as a, as a creature. <laughs> we'll, 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 we'll look that up, too. And I can tell you, Max came and he loved it. That's oh, very good. Yes. And uh, and uh, Johnny's trying to see it. Johnny's That's trying so to see it. He came, he came yesterday to the theater, but the theater was closed. They didn't yeah. realize that the Easter show had been canceled because everybody was at Easter. Right. So. Well, you run through June 5th. June, June the 5th. 5th and so Unless there's an extension, which is possible, but right. June 5th. Check with, right. the, with, the, uh, with this, the website for the theater, the Odyssey Theater, because sometimes we're on Wednesday nights, sometimes we're not. Our matinees are on Sunday at 2. But sometimes we're at 7 o'clock. There's three Sundays we're at 7 instead of 2. Which is so, only going to go right. to our friends' shows. So, <laughs> <laughs> so 
So check the website. Check yeah, the website. yeah, please. Juno and the Paycock. Juno and the Paycock by Sean O'Casey. Sean O'Casey. Ah, it's a darling show. Darling. It's a darling show. I was going to say you got to lay a little Irish on yeah, us here. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> but it's you go talking there, you. Oh, uh, there you go. And uh, it's uh, and Kitty, just so we get that you are Juno. Yes, I'm Juno. Which we've repeated. I mean, always beginning. says to me right before I go on stage, "Who are you?" And I say, "I'm Juno." And I say, "Who are you?" And she's a very good Juno uh, indeed. Mm -hmm. I don't pay him enough money. <laughs> and then we're at the beginning of summer convention season to pull it uh, back yes. to track so, land. So, yes, if, uh, uh, oh, as, as soon as the play is over, um, I uh, get on the plane and go to Tulsa, Oklahoma, where I hope to see a lot of good friends. And uh, that will be, uh, I think, in the third week of June, mm -hmm. if I'm not mistaken. And then, uh, of course, there's Las Vegas in August. I'll be there too. Oh, and okay. maybe Rhonda. We're trying to talk Rhonda into coming. Oh, that'll be, yeah. Like I said, the completists will love having <laughs> Dixon exactly. Hills Madeline there. Yeah. And then there's a lovely convention in Toronto that is in October for me. And, uh, and then we go to New Zealand. And then in New Zealand. Oh, very good. Is that, so, are you going to miss going to St. John's in October then? I don't know. You're going to New Zealand to film in The Hobbit? Is no, 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 no. <laughs> Start a rumor today. Yeah. Uh, that would be great, but no. Now, to do a convention, uh, first, uh, uh, one week in, in Australia and one week in New Zealand. And we've never been in New Zealand, so that should be exciting. The great thing for the actors on Star Trek is we get to travel. God knows mm -hmm. I, I've visited mm -hmm. places around the world because of this series, which I'm enormously grateful. And oddly, we see our friends at these conventions halfway across the world that we don't see here at home. <laughs> across so, town. I, I've Hi. had more international meals with Jonathan Frakes. That's true. <laughs> who I've known since 1968. Ah, yes. there you go. Then here in town. Well, we'll try to get everybody out to see Juno. Please. And see you on the convention road this year. Great. And I think if you get a lot of people together, if you get a group together, they give mm -hmm. you a discount. Okay, They'll okay. Give you a group right. Well, it's we're limited to our SoCal audience here, but hopefully okay. uh, all the Trek all the Trekland fans are out there. Yeah. Um, we'll do that. Okay. Anyway. Please come. Yes, very good. Thanks for having us in to talk about it, guys. Thank you. And we'll see you. All right. Bye, okay. Bye bye. Bye bye.